Hello everyone, this is a video about using Langchain with financial data and we'll be looking at the following. We'll be looking at how you can use pass, output, logging, HTTP requests and we'll be looking at how you can use an agent with some tools. And a little preview here, this is what we will be doing using a custom class to pass some output. So if that's of interest, keep watching. So Langchain, framework for developing applications powered by language models documentation is amazing so i'm not going to repeat any of that really what i'm going to do is just introduce you to agents tools and we'll look at passing output as i've just mentioned so this is the code what does the code do well we'll go into it in more detail but basically it goes off to yahoo finance it gets the current bitcoin price ethereum price it looks at some historical data it compares the market dominance of bitcoin don't worry if you're not interested in Bitcoin or anything like that. You can, in traditional stock prices, stock tickers. So you could put in uh, VOD for Vodafone or SFT for Microsoft and so on. Um, so you can see from here, we've used Y Finance. So you'll have to do pip install Yahoo Finance, I believe. And put in your API key. And this a lot of this code comes from the Sam Whitbean uh, example on Langchain's own documentation. So I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. We've got get current stock price, get stock performance. So these functions will be collected and used as a tool. And I'll show you where they get put together as a tool. Um, a bit further down. So tools equals current stock price tool, stock performance tool. And stock performance tool, stock price tool. There we go, stock percentage. That gets used in stock performance. So next, I create the agent. So with Langchain, if you create an agent, the agent enables you to select a tool. And that's very useful when you want to use something other than OpenAI. Obviously, OpenAI was trained, but it doesn't have access to live data. I'm using GPT 3.5 Turbo 0613. Temperature set to naught because we don't want it to be creative. Had I used Streamlit or added a GUI, then this is the user input variable, which I've just coded it to be Bitcoin. But that's why I've said it's a variable. Um, so we're going to use the agent with which then uses the tools um, agent type open AI underscore functions, um, not the zero shot react description one. Further down, we'll be using the reg parser class, which is a custom class, which I've written. Let me run it first. Let's run this and then I'll talk about it some more because you don't want to just hear me talking. Entering new chain, stock price. Bitcoin $31,381. It's getting the stock performance over the past 180 days. Entering a new chain. Search with market share of Bitcoin. There we go. The market share is 49.71%. And the final thing I asked, I asked it to do was go and get the date of the next Bitcoin halving which it did using a Google search. So I'll just show you that as well. So part four, get date of next Bitcoin halving. And this was based purely on the example from Langchain. So you set a template, then you use that template with the prompt template, and then you pass in the prompt. That's the prompt here, you see, prompt, prompt. And then you ask the question with those inputs. Next Bitcoin halving is approximately, so that's just me passing it. Right, that's kind of um, an overview. And obviously you don't just want to hear me talk about every single line of this code, but just to get to kind of the interesting bit or the new bit that you wouldn't see in documentation typically, I've, I've used base output parser, which comes from langchain.schema. See that there? 
and to write the custom class, um, I just called it reg parser, and it inherits base output, inherits from base output parser. The function inside I've just called pass, and what it does is it just does a regular expression and returns a number. So if you've got a bunch of text, it says the current market dominance of Bitcoin is 49%, and you just want in fact, it was 49.71%, so I just told it to get the percentage as a integer. Um, and then that returns, so where's that used? Reg parser is used as the output parser, um, and just used it here. So that's not actually Langchain as such, that's just running after the Open API, open AI has um, run, the, the agent is run. Um, yeah, and that fourth fourth part, when to next Bitcoin halving, that is using uh, HTTP requests, input query, URL, question, replace. Um, it's just replacing any spaces with plus because that's going to form part of the get request. Um, input variables request result, basically between the pointy brackets, a raw search result text from Google, extract the answer to the question. Question is, when's the next Bitcoin having? Or say not found if the information is not contained. Use the format, and then you can say answer or not found. Um, and then it returns the answer, and then you can just set that to result. And yes, logging. So let's look at logging. And excuse all these files. Logging is output log. And you can see all my tests, which have been racking up all of the tokens. But um, yeah, so the output logging, you just need to install. Get that out of the way. Uh, I've used Loguru, pip install Loguru, and then the import logger. And I've also set to colorize, levels, trace, rotation, 10 MB. So um, it's, it'll overwrite itself the oldest records once it gets larger than 10 megabytes. Um, and then where have I used it? I've been quite sparing, but I've just used it here, like logger.info. And then I've just formatted the output just so that it looks nicer in the log. Um, logger.info result. There is something called a callback, which you can use with logging as well. Um, you have to create something called a handler. Uh, I've not managed to get that to work yet, so that'll I might wait and wait until somebody else has made a video on that. Um, so there we go. That is kind of that's me talking very quickly over 150 lines of code, approximately. So um, if you want the code, I'll put it on GitHub. If you've got any questions, then ask me, or probably probably yeah, you'll get more sense from looking at Langchain documentation. Um, so the Stock price, all of these functions um, are just from the Langchain documentation. Um, the bit I wrote was the base, um, was using base output parser. So if you want to write your own function, you won't find that on Langchain. That's what I've done. So I just wanted to tidy up the output, really. Um, that's one of the things when you're using, especially ChatGPT, you're going to be getting text back and you'll need to pass it. So yeah, make your own class. And I was lazy with the regular expression. I just pasted in the text into chat GPT and asked it to make me the regular expression. I think that's a really useful thing, useful feature of chat GPT is being able to ask it in natural language to make you a regular expression. I've never really enjoyed, I've never been good enough to make complex regular expressions. So hopefully soon we won't, need to anymore um so yeah that's uh that's the overview if you want to if you want to get the code play around with it it's good you'll just need um you'll need the open ai api key and you'll also need an api key for SERP. so if you're going to use the scrp api wrapper api you're going to be needing to sign up for um, there you go. To use, you should have the Google search results Python package installed and the environment variable 
S E R P A P I underscore API underscore key set with your API key or pass. Yeah, blah blah blah. Um, yeah, so you need the API key for that. So two API keys needed for this to work. You don't need one for Yahoo Finance. Um, and yeah, subscribe if you like this video. Um, the subscribers to this channel um, and the views from subscribers is very low. So these videos take a lot of time and effort to make. So yeah, it'd be cool. Just I just need a, more, a few more people just to thumbs up, subscribe and all that. Yeah. Thank you for watching. And I'll be back in due course with some possibly more Langchain. Let me know if you like in the Langchain videos. If you want to see more PyTest or whatever, just put something in the comments and uh, see you soon.